All right, next round, and on the draw, we have a somewhat awkwardish hand here. Can't cast Fatal Push, but other than that, this hand is perfectly fine. So I think this is a clear keep, and I mean Fatal Push is gonna should be good whenever we draw a Black Source for it, if it's gonna be good, anyways. So, Blood Crypt, Swiss Spear, so yeah. How about that black mana there? Okay, so immediately find um, black mana for Fatal Push. So, we're not sure what we want to do with this Polluted Delta yet. It might be better as Water Grave, so we can cast Serum Visions and Logic Knot. So, uh, I mean... Ideally, it would be Swamp, because we don't want to take damage, but it's probably too awkward with this hand. And opponent attacks with Monastery Swift Spear. So we could just Fatal Push, um, but if our opponent isn't even going to cast anything, we don't even have to Fatal Push. We can just get Watery Grave tapped. So yeah, they, d they don't do anything, and that just saved us some life. And the reason for that is because they're young pyromancing, which is fine. I mean, we're going to kill the young pyromancer now with Fatal Push. So we get Water Grave, and now Glacial Fortress can come into play untapped. We can Serum Visions, and see another Sphinx's Revelation and Elspeth, which are both going to be too slow since we already have a Sphinx's Revelation, so... Bottom both those and get rid of the young pyromancer. So, not bad. I mean, our opponent has three cards in hand now. And just Colgan's command. Returning young pyromancer, making us discard a card. That's fine. Um, the card discard doesn't really matter for us. I mean, we think twice did its job, it's in the graveyard. And here we have Logic Knot up and then can Supreme Verdict, which isn't bad. So we let Swift Spear resolve because we're happy to get a bit of value here. Like, we're not sure what our opponent's doing, but it doesn't even look like they're that heavy into being burned. So we're fine just letting this all resolve, which does indeed happen and now we are supreme verdicting away all this which seems like a pretty good deal and Colgan's command again I mean sure that's fine as well <laughs> pretty slow and and the cards were discarding like we didn't need think twice or that land and draw a fatal push is pretty good and just gonna let Young Pyromancer resolve because uh, we do have Fatal Push for it. Would rather leave up Logic Knot and flashback Think Twice, and suddenly we are looking to be in a massively winning position. Just can rev for three if we want, and Faithless Looting. So our opponent stack is incredibly strange at this point. We're not sure what they're doing. All right, so they're Bedlam Reveling, um, which, I mean, is incredibly strange. And so, glad we have the Logic Knot, because we're definitely Logic Knotting that. And now our opponent has no cards. We have Sphinx's Revelation, generally a good place to be. So we're Esper Charming. And just trying to find more lands. We don't really need this Sphinx's Rev at, at this particular moment. And Lingering Souls is actually a bit of an issue. Because we don't really have a great way to deal with that at the moment. Of course, we have so much card draw. We should be able to find something at some point. So for now, we're just going to take that and fire off a rev. I think it's juicy enough, and we're under a, enough pressure that we're just going to fire it off. And 
didn't really hit that much. But even even when we didn't draw much, we, we should still have enough to grind through a Lingering Souls. So we keep the Esper Charm, get rid of land. And go ahead and activate Colonnade here. Opponent did draw Terminate. So we are going to burn a Fatal Push and a Path to just get rid of some souls. And fortunately have a bunch more gas and and a colonnade so not that worried and make my opponent draw or <laughs> not make my opponent draw that is uh, not an option make my opponent discard um, they attacked into our colonnade, so we assume they have another terminate, which they do. So we clear the way and can block with colonnade. And now we're just winning the race massively. Our opponent has a 1 1. We have Esper Charm. And the Faithless Looting uh, actually means that we can. Mana leak and Inquisition this late in the game. And continue just smashing in. Opponent's major out at this point is going to be Bedlam Reveler, but that probably isn't even going to be enough. So cycle a bit more and there's Sphinx's Revelation which is the game set and match so sideboarding not really sure what to do for sideboarding since our opponent is um, doing such odd things so relics we're definitely gonna want though because we saw Bedlam Reveler and Lingering Souls so we definitely want le uh, relics probably want negates because our opponent is sort of half aggro half uh, control ish sort of uh, so we wanna be prepared for sort of both halves of, of what they can throw at us um, so Sphinx's or Supreme Verdict is going to be uh, okay good against Lingering Souls, good against Young Pyromancer kills Bedlam Reveler not great against Monastery Swift Spear, of course. Um, probably want the Logic Knots. Can maybe get rid of the Planeswalkers. Get rid of some Esper Charms. Uh, get rid of some Paths, even. And just stick to the Fatal Pushes. So, I mean... It, it, really, there's a... <laughs> many different ways you could go with the sideboarding you could on the draw we probably want to be prepared a bit more for aggro so maybe like this um, would be somewhat reasonable and again a double fatal push um, no swamp hand. We're on the draw. We have relic to cycle, so I think this is a keep, even though it's not very good. Obviously, we're going to not be winning if we don't see a swamp in the first million turns. And path isn't isn't the worst uh, draw. So thoughtsies. So this is fine. Um, we're not really too concerned about that. And then Blood Moon happens. So, the best the best Blood Moon is the unexpected Blood Moon, <laughs> uh, which our opponent's Blood Moon is definitely unexpected. We probably should have been more concerned about that, um, and now we just lose because, yeah. See, we have pass and fatal pushes in, expecting monastery Swiss spears, and our opponent pivoted into just being a Blood Moon deck and punished us. I mean, we're not winning unless we just draw a bunch of our basics, uh, which we do not do. So, 
back to sideboarding, we want to be much more concerned about Blood Moon now. So we want the Esper Charms for sure. Don't really need to pass as much. Um, want the Negates for sure. And uh, even even the Thought Seizes would be okay. Um, if we wanted... Uh, probably not that interested in Supreme Verdict anymore and are more interested in just not losing to Blood Moon so we're going to be uh, fetching basics much more aggressively and we're on the play so e even though we're worse against an aggro start it, that should be mitigated by us being on the play and of course Esper Charm uh, can deal with Blood Moon if you have three untapped mana and basic island is a good start have negate have esper charm so should be good against blood moon of course a turn one monastery swift spear would have been a major issue for this hand fortunately our opponent did not have turn one swift spear and we draw a sack land so we're gonna be getting a planes with this for sure And go ahead and just draw cards. Since we're going to have Cryptic up for uh, Blood Moon this next turn, and our hand isn't very good, so just happy to cycle. And Colgan's Command. Destroying Relic. So our opponent obviously knows we can cycle Relic. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of an odd play. Um, we're going to just leave up Cryptic though, and and actually just lose our Relic. And Forked Bolt is not what we care about at this point. Double Forked Bolt, we obviously let it resolve. Not really a big deal. And Lightning Bolt, we also let resolve. And now we have all our basics available and our opponent's casting Blood Moon, which we are still going to just counter because it does shut off col Colonnade, which is our main win condition at this point. And Serum Visions um, still don't really have uh, much card draw. We're still looking for like Sphinx's Revelations and such. We do have a Think Twice in the yard though. And Bedlam Reveler is definitely getting out of here. And there's Esper Charm, which is fantastic. Bit of card draw, and we even drew Negate for any shenanigans. And decide to go for the uh, Esper Charm on Draw Step, which. Um, it's going to be good for a lioness to get aggressive with colonnade here, and we didn't actually have an answer to a top deck bedlam reveler, and this deals with uh, top deck bedlam reveler. Our opponent's hand was just not that good, though. So now we have colonnade with um, the gate backup. Of course, top deck bedlam reveler is still a concern. opponent is going to have to find it quick though and of course we if we ever draw Sphinx's Revelation we just instantly win and Blood Moon we're happy to negate keep the colonnades coming colonnade beat down have our opponent on the ropes so they have one more draw and they whiff and we successfully uh, implement our control plan against Strange Blood Moon Mardu Aggro Weirdness deck. 